Good morning, everyone. I'm going to take very little time because I know you want to hear the minister and not me. Um, I'm absolutely delighted that Minister Hargey, um, Minister for Department for Communities, is with us this morning. The theme is place, and my experience of working with the minister and her team is that they have a profound understanding of place and what this place needs and what this place does. The minister's portfolio is huge, um, everything from housing to looking after our cultural well-being. And that's really important because it's all about citizenship and it's all about how those citizens can find a way to live better in this place. I would have to say, without embarrassing her, I hope that the Minister has been an absolute supporter of Future Screens NI and the Cluster Programme in particular. And so it's a huge privilege for me to ask Minister Hargey to address us this morning. Thanks very much, Paul, and I suppose to Paul and Nula and all of Future Screens for the invitation to come along and address you this morning um, as part of the conference. I'm delighted to be here, albeit for a short while, because I have other um, meetings to attend. But I suppose good morning to everybody else um, as well who's here, um, both in person and online. It's great to be here this morning at Beyond 2021. And I'm delighted this year that we're able to be here in person and to welcome you all to Belfast, my own home city, um, and a city that I love and, and that I hope you, that you all love um, as well. And as the conference reintroduces some physical events, I think it's great that we can now come together in person. Uh, we're human beings. We like to interact with each other. And hopefully, as restrictions begin to lift further, um, that we can see a new sense of normality um, going forward as well. For all of those who have joined the conference yesterday, um, had the opportunity to experience some of the very best of local creative innovations and reimagined places, including augmented reality and immersive theatre. The creative industries are at the very heart of our communities, and their significance to our culture and economy only increases year on year. The events of the past 18 months have served to highlight very effectively how much our communities depend on creative technology to connect people and to allow businesses and education to flourish, and of course also the impact on our mental health and well-being. The importance of access to creativity, which is increasingly being offered and engaged with in a digital form, cannot be underestimated. The creative economy is driving a re-imaging and a renewal of so many aspects of our lives as we begin to emerge from this pandemic. And as Minister for Communities, I wish to commend our creative community for your strength and your innovation and passion throughout the COVID crisis. Necessity is, of course, the mother of invention. But whilst in isolation, you have gone beyond the necessary and demonstrated what it means to be truly innovative and resilient, and have put in place interventions which will continue to improve our connectedness as communities and our engagement with the creativity, even as restrictions are removed. Today, I met the makers within the Immersive Futures Lab, and as Minister, I am proud to see these projects were supported by my department and featured in the showcase. These projects illustrate the strength of innovation here. They point towards the future. And there's no doubt that the creative industries have a critical role to play in the future cultural and economic successes of our place. My department has produced a five-year strategy, which has a focus on improving opportunity and increasing capacity within our communities, providing everyone with the opportunity to reach their full potential. Many of the goals echo um, of those being discussed here this week. My department stated a purpose of supporting people, building communities and shaping places. So I was particularly pleased to see the conference theme this year focus on place, its significance and how we can use creativity to shape and improve it. And it's encouraging to be working alongside the industry with a common purpose. 
The cross-cutting themes of my strategy around anti-poverty, sustainability, rebuilding the local economy and inclusion to growth and agility and innovation are all impacted strongly by supporting and nurturing our fast-growing creative industry sector, which produces innovations that improve quality of life and opportunity for communities and talented individuals to reach their full potential. And in addition, of course, to being worth $1.2 billion to our economy, providing around 29,000 jobs and contributing to our tourism sectors. I have demonstrated my commitment to the creative industries through the investment in COVID-19 resilience and skills programmes, and my department works closely with organisations such as NI Screen, the Arts Council and, of course, Future Screens to support the sector. The connection between creativity and technology grows stronger with every day. We live in an increasingly digital world. The screen industries in particular is a hugely important area for creative and economic growth. My department is currently funding programmes through NI Screen and our local creative learning centres, which aim to build key skills in the use of creative, digital, moving image and related technologies for young people through schools with a focus on a quality of access of opportunity that they will enable all young people to understand, enjoy and create, and ultimately develop transferable skills which help them to contribute to the social, cultural and economic life of our communities. Building capacity and confidence at a young age leads into further work to develop talent pipelines to the industry and open up accessible opportunities and life opportunities for the young people as they grow older, regardless of their background or their circumstances. Again, this is also an area of focus here at Beyond that is shared by them and my department. My department through NI Screen is also working hard to create and sustain these talent pipelines through careers programmes such as ScreenWorks, and the Screen Academies, which build on the skills developed by the Creative Learning Centres and provide valuable real-world experience of industry roles and invaluable access to professionals working within the industry itself. This will help to ensure that we can take advantages of the opportunities provided by our growing screen industry and will have developed a workforce uh, with the right skills to sustain it. The Arts Council has similar ambitions in terms of investing in accessible career pathways across the wider creative and cultural industries and has been working through the Creative Career Careers Programme to increase awareness of the diversity of roles available. It's also working with Future Screens through its individual Artist Digital Innovation Awards to support artists to become more sustainable by upskilling them in the use of digital technology. And the importance of creative technology is clear in the context of cultivating successful communities for the future. Creativity is needed across all our sectors and all new innovations in creative technology can have practical implications across other areas such as manufacturing, communications, tourism, retail, education and so much more, with all the resulting benefits for our communities and our people. There can be no progress without creativity and creative solutions. This is an industry that will continue to evolve and shape new and vibrant communities and spaces that we will expand and enhance our reality and experience. And I look forward to seeing what comes next in terms of urban re-imaging, the ability to re-experience arts and heritage through immersive technologies and the emergence of new innovations and products. And I'm sure that we will have more than a glimpse of that here at the Beyond Conference um, over the common days. So I just again want to thank the conference. I'm delighted to be here and to support it. I'm keen to work with the sectors um, in the time ahead. And I hope you have an enjoyable few days. Gormila Mayoga, thank you.